Uh, Assalamualaikum and hi. Example number three, uh, 180 mm wide singly reinforced concrete beam is required to transmit an ultimate bend bending moment of 150 inclusive its own weight. Termasuk self weight dia. The beam is composed of grade 30 concrete with high yield reinforcement using the simplified stress block the stress block formula given in BS determine the depth maksudnya dia nakkan total height dia dia nakkan amount of steel and sketch the cross section maksudnya dia sudah design lah kalau dah sampai sketch tu kan kita try to visualize how this look like. So example number three is actually different from example one and two tak sama eh. So dia kata B is 180. Itu je. So dia tak bagi effective depth at the same time. Dia pun tak bagi H. Dia suruh you design from scratch eh. Tapi what's given here dia bagi M which is the ultimate bending moment 150 kilo newton meter. And Bila dia kata grade uh, concrete tu adalah 30 means uh, FCU is 30 and high yield reinforcement jadi bila high yield FY is 460. Okay that's the only information given by this question. So what we need to do first kita tap Tak perlu kira loading sebab dia dah bagi ultimate bending moment. Kita nak kira loading tu untuk dapatkan M but since dia dah bagi so kita boleh skip terus all the steps yang awal-awal tu kan. Pergi pada moment terus okay. Sebab itu yang dia bagi. Sekarang ni dia minta you design maksudnya dia nakkan the dimensions. Dia tak specify pun H berapa. Dia tak bagi all those information. Then you akan assume K adalah equal to K prime. Maksud saya maximum. Selagi dia masih lagi kan uh, exit K prime dia akan jadi doubly reinforced concrete beam. Bila you pakai compression reinforcement, size of beam tu akan kecil eh. Dia akan biasanya kalau ada keperluan eh bila nak design aesthetic sebab beam tu tak cantik. Okay, bila kita nak kecilkan size beam, kita akan pakai, cuba untuk design naikkan dari segi steel area tau. Jadi compression reinforcement yang akan ada. So bila dia ada, baru you akan try untuk jadikan dia macam doubly lah sebab ada keperluan. Kalau setakat buat residential house ke, bangunan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ke tak perlulah. K is equal to K prime. K prime tu 0.156 tu lah. So you know that formula of K, K is equal to M over FCUBD square. Then we have the value of M, okay, 150, tukar dia jadi Newton, okay, dia kilo Newton meter kan. Darab lagi 10 kuasa 3 millimeter, tukar meter kepada millimeter. Divide with FCU given dalam soalan tadi 30. B also given 180 and D tak diberi. So D power of 2 sahaja kat situ. Yang kita design dia as maximum lah. Kan selagi dia tak reach K prime tak apa. Below that lah sebab dia tak bagi D tak bagi H. So kita design to the maximum lah selagi dia masih singly then it is okay. Ah uh, miss. So asal saya dah D saya dah H kita kita assume K equals to K prime jalan tak? Ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay tapi kalau dia bagi D dia bagi H jangan tau. Jangan gatal. Kena pakai information yang dia bagi. That's why lah. Uh, baca soalan betul lah. Uh, 178 062 678 178.062.678 D square Nak dapatkan value D saja Square root kan value ni I dapat 421.975 mm 
ini D ni okay. Kalau K okay. Sekarang ni senang cerita Bila U design paling maksimum K sama dengan 0.156 D dia adalah 421.975 D dia adalah 421.975 kita boleh round up ni masalah lagi satu kena, kena faham eh kalau you round down k sama dengan 0.156 you akan dapat d 421.975 d ni awak awak turunkan lagi 420 for example you round it down k ni akan lagi besar daripada k prime which is awak tak nak. Okay so jangan round down. Kalau you letak uh, D ni for example 425 KK ni akan less than 0 0.156 425 mm ataupun you boleh round up 430 pun tak apa suka hati okay, you nak pakai 422 pun boleh kena check balik since kita dah pakai D425 kita kena cari value K yang baru sebab kita dah round up kalau you round up 430 ha, which means dia lagi besar lagi so bila you round up lagi besar value dia memang bukan 0.156 lagi value dia dah berubah lah I terus tu 10 kuasa 6 eh I tak terus 10 kuasa 3 10 kuasa 3 tu faham sendiri ni lah 180 then the D is 4 2 5 I dapat 0.1537870005 0154 lah sebab I round up dia 425 that's why dia bukan 0156 which is okay lah sebab dia less than 0 0.156 kalau you round down dia you akan dapat K akan lagi besar pada K prime which is kita tak nak kita kira ini okay, just to make sure that value D tu tak less than 0 0.156 Kita klik Z I dapat 0.781 D Ini sekali lah you nak tulis less than 0 0.156 or not less than Z, less than K prime lah maksudnya kan ni kan K prime Ni uh, compare dengan 0 0.95 D so as what I have explained sebelum ni Hopefully semua kelas dapat information yang sama lah. Biasanya for RC beam value Z takkan lebih besar daripada 0.95. Then kita boleh straight away kira as M is 150, 0.95. Then you have value of FY which is 460. Value of Z 0.781. And just darab je dengan D which is 425. I dapat 1034.117 the value of AS. Value of AS is 1034.117 and this question dia tak ada specify eh. Berapa size bar yang dia nak so you can just use any num any size yang you suka as long as value dia tak lebih daripada 1034.117 tu 3225 boleh or mungkin I boleh pakai 4020 depends lah eh. tapi I kena check spacing macam mana pun my option I always need to check spacing beam uh, ni punya breadth dia kecil je Okay, beam ni punya breast is 180 Very small so I Kalau I tak nak dia buat dia stacking I kena make sure that uh, Number of bars dia tak banyak I Lebih bagus I pakai Size yang besar and numbers dia kecil eh So that we don't need many spacing in between bars tu Bila dia makin banyak spacing makin banyak lah kawasan dia pakai eh I rasa the best option is This two lah Okay, you boleh mungkin you boleh pakai 60-16 tapi yelah bila dia nak number dia sampai 6 obviously dia akan ambil kawasan eh for spacing so that that's the thing that you need to consider ataupun kita jangan ambil saiz yang terlampau besar eh, daripada value AS tu sebab nanti tak ekonomi lah you design terlebih daripada what you should you, you should provide so it's a wastage 3T25 just to be safe so that I tak perlu kira banyak kali so spacing 
Our B is 180 and you have to minus with number of bar. Oh, I lupa tulis. So from table, you can provide 3T25 which AS is 1470 mm square. Tolak 3 darab 25 tolak 2 darab 10. Ini assume since dia tak bagi pun berapa value jadi for link kita just assume. And then we also have the concrete cover. And divide with number of bar minus 1. So 3 minus 1 lah. Kita tak ada buat stacking so you can just use the formula yang I bagi tu. 17.5 eh. So spacing dia pun tak okay. Okay, not okay. Kalau tak okay, kita kena pakai size lain lah. I tak perlu kira banyak kali, I ambil je 2, T, 32. Memang nampak besar, 1, 6, 1, 0. Tapi acceptable lah, dia tak sampai 1000 pun lebih dia eh. Daripada area AS yang you kira tu. You just take 1610. So, I, ini pun dah tak okay dan kita kena buat balik. Then we check for spacing and divide with the Number of bar minus 1. So you, you just, bila you tolak tu jadi 1 tu lah kan. Sebab number of bar you 2 eh. It is 46. So okay lah. Okay tapi 46, you bukan compare dengan aggregate size plus 5 mm. You compare dengan bar size. Sebab bar size you 32. Kita compare dengan bar size sebab aggregate eh, HAGG plus 5 mm ni selalu you kira So it is 25mm kan? Okay, bar size yang sekarang you pakai lah 32 which is bigger. So kita tak boleh compare dengan this one. Kita akan compare dengan bar size sebab bar size lagi besar. Which one bigger? Jadi kita compare dengan 32mm. Sebab selama ni I bagi example tak pernah I pakai size yang sampai 32. So this is the one. And it always happen bila breadth of the beam tu kecil. Jadi you terpaksa besarkan bar dan uh, kurangkan number of bars in order untuk fit in dalam beam yang kecil eh. Then we can draw lah. Satu benda lagi yang kita tak ada adalah H sebab kita nakkan berapa height. Total height of this beam. Kita boleh kira H juga dulu. H is equal to D plus half of bar sebab kita tak pakai stacking eh. And then bar prime, diameter dia and plus C. So value of D is 425 plus um, so kita pakai 32 mm diameter bagi 2 plus 10 mm assume and 25 mm concrete cover. Then I dapat 476. You know lah. So 476 kita takkan boleh round down dia part 75 eh. Tak boleh. Jangan round down. You hanya ada round down satu je. Masa you kira D kalau macam example number one. Bila dia bagi H. Tu je you boleh round down. Yang lain semua round up. So round up, I round up to 480. We have 2T32. Kita label lah. 2T12 as the hanger bars. And we have R10 links and the size dia. So sampai D adalah sampai central of the main reinforcement tu. Okay, uh, D, our D is 425 eh. Bila 425 and you punya total height of beam is 480. So you just tolak je lah 480 mm. Tolak lah 425 ni you akan dapat lah berapa balance dekat bawah tu eh. 55. Tu bukan, tu tak ada jalan kerja eh. I just nak value je. I nak you draw lah sekali berapa. Macam mana saya you rupa beam tu dan you dapat markah. Okay, example number 4 you nampak dekat bawah ni. I nak skip tau. Kita tak belajar. Okay, I skip example number 4 sebab dia sama je. Dia actually sama macam example number 3. Sama cuma dia tukar lah. 140, 250, grade 35. High yield reinforcement masih sama lah. Tapi value-value lain dia tukar. Kalau you tengok soalan dia pun you tahu sama. Okay, exercise number 2. Okay, exercise number 2 kita buat dalam kelas 
tutorial. Okay. If no question you're going to ask, okay, don't forget to sign in to your future for attendance. So thank you so much, Summer. Have a nice day. Bye.